Hey there, Star Wars Rebels fans. It's time for one last lesson. Welcome back to the AfterBuzz Star Wars Rebels After Show here on AfterBuzz TV. Tonight we are talking about the final episodes of the series. Guys, we've got a full house for you, some special guests, and some familiar faces. Stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin! Hi! Yeah! 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 Doing a wall of sound. Yes. Well, everyone who's listening to this on headphones <laughs> just took them off and threw them across the room. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, guys. No, they we didn't. Just have They're just as excited. A well of emotions uh, inside of us tonight as we talk about the finale of Star Wars Rebels. Tonight we are covering a fool's hope and family reunion and farewell. Let's not waste any time. <laughs> Fantastic panel to my left, Joelle Monique. Hey guys, I'm Joelle Monique. You can find me all over the internet at Joelle Monique and every week at blackgirlnerds.com. To her left, Emma Fife. What's up, guys? Out of the house. Really nice to be here. Uh, I'm at Emma Fife. Everywhere Emma Fife's for souls. To her left, Dylan Chance. Also Hi back this guys. Week. It's me, Dylan Chance. You can find me on Twitter at Dylan Chance. To her, to his left, Jenny <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> all right. Hi, everybody. You can follow me all over the social medias at QJ. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. To my <laughs> left, the person who's bringing us home tonight. I'm Megan. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Mango. That's da 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 da. Whatever. Uh, we've had some very, very <laughs> yeah, special <more> guests <laughs> joining us tonight. Guys, we have three fantastic guests joining us on the couch. Taylor Gray. Woo. Yay. 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 Thank you, guys. Steve Bloom. Carabas. <laughs> <laughs> and for the first time here at After Buzz Studios, Mary Elizabeth McLean. You're all rebel scum. Oh. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, uh, yeah of thanks. course. I'm so happy that you guys could join us here for the finale. Now, we know that people watching on the West Coast feed right now, we know that we're airing in the middle of the show right now. So if you guys have not watched yet, please, for the love of God, pause this, go watch the show, and then come back because we are delving into spoiler territory. Spoiler alert! Please, like a usual after show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for sure, but... It must be Tuesday. But again, because it's airing on the West Coast right now, we want to be considerate to everybody who might not, who might be in the middle of watching it right now. Yes. So, guys, uh, if you guys have any questions for our fantastic guests, please use the hashtag ABTVRebels per usual. All right, guys. Chat's going insane, by the way. <laughs> They're very happy to see everyone. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got as much screaming as the couch. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course. So much love. But, yeah, guys, initial, let, let's go ahead and start with Joelle, and we'll move down uh, around initial thoughts for this finale, because, yeah, this is it. This is the end. My ship did not come home, and in fact, it got the longest tease ever. They're like, you will wait an entire new series for this ship to come home. Your ship it's is fine. lost at sea. We'll wait. We will wait. It's fine. We love you, Star Wars. Um, uh, Loth Wolves remain the yeah. coolest thing in the history of Star Wars. They're just awesome. <laughs> your what, ship is lost I'm, at sea. I was going to say, I'm curious, what is your ship? It's, I was going to ask that. Oh, yeah. come on. It's, it's, it's got to be obvious. Because I feel like Zeb and Callus, they got... They, they, yeah. they, they did get yeah. yeah. together. Yeah. Their love yeah. was a firm. I was going to say, a deal. lot of ship happens. I want to <laughs> ask... <laughs> all kinds of Hashtag ship. Hashtag AV... TV. I want to ask him about that, what you thought about that. <laughs> well, let's continue with the thoughts here. We'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I just wanted to meet an Ezra. Like, the, the, the kiss, a handheld something. But it's they fine. a really good moment of eye contact. They, they really did. Just, yeah. I felt the sexual tension there. That's all it takes. Places I didn't see the sexual tension. What? We have a baby now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when did that, well, that happen? Right. That's what I want to know. Sometimes you don't have to say, I love you, exactly. to get it on. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, we do want to keep this show family friendly, Joelle. Sorry, that's my bad. I'm sorry. I mean, you the know. Force works in mysterious ways. The force works in mysterious ways. <laughs> but I, I mean, my, my theory is she was just already pregnant when all of this was going down. That kid looked like he was about the right age. Okay, yeah. upon second viewing, yes. when you watch, again, when you see Ed Ezra talking to the hologram of his family, and Hera comes up, and he's talking. You can see her put her hand. Oh! It's not a low oh, hand. It's, it's a little high, but it's right. really fast. It's and you, It could be read in. Wow. You catch you catch a lot of it. Could I guess. read a lot of reviews. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's the guys on the internet that catch like, everything, and they're just like, oh. That? I don't know. Have we ever seen inner, like, species? <laughs> 
Do you know no, we've not written. Not I don't believe I don't, I've in never Star seen Wars that. canon, at least portrayed on screen, that we've ever seen any cross species yeah. children. I was legit surprised day. that they were compatible. Um, like well, yeah, genetic viability. Well, right. I mean, I'm Let's get into the biology. What, uh, uh, very Hondo and Melch come up with. Yeah. <laughs> yes. no, that was a very tender moment. Wasn't I'm that so, sweet? I'm was. so happy yeah, we yeah, got the emotional was. payoff for that. I don't know. I think Thrawn and the Purgles will have lovely, <laughs> <laughs> lovely blue space whales there's, everywhere. There's a corner of the internet that's into tentacles, and we tend I not know. to go there. Oh. <laughs> so, that's yes. not at all what I was talking about. Yes, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we were while we were um, rewatching uh, the the finale t this evening, Katie, you actually brought up that uh, Thrawn's uh, sort of end here was very much foreshadowed the, at the end of last season. The Bendu straight up told him, like, I foresee your defeat like a hundred, like a hundred arms in a cold embrace or something yes. like that. Yeah. It was just like, Ooh. Oh my gosh, Chad that. is right. There was a clone who had a kid with a Twi'lek in the Clone oh, Wars. Oh, yes. I totally forgot about that. Bring it home, Chad. Yeah. Good That's job, Chad. Amazing. Thank you. Way to go, Chad. Chat does this. They're doing things. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have been working on the show for a couple years now. How does it feel now that all of the fans have finally gotten to see it come to an end and wrap up? Well, you guys were on it a lot longer. I came in in season three, so it's been, it's been a long process. Yeah, uh, we've been doing it five years, I think. Is I think it's it is. almost five years. Yeah, yeah since we began. coming on five years, and it's uh, we've grown up together. Yeah, we really have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this has been I, this has been going on over 20% of my life. I watched you go through puberty and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you become a man on oh, our show. I love it. It's been, it's been so fun. I think today, especially maybe more than any other days, uh, really exposed me to a lot of the reception of this show. I, I think, uh, at least for me, I, I guess I don't go on the internet enough. Uh, I didn't realize how many people watch the show or how many people are affected by the show or anything like that. And, Tracy and everyone at, at Lucasfilm have been sending us like fan videos and reactions, things like that. And I didn't know that it was even happening. I, I'm an idiot. I feel yeah. like, but it's it kind of like wore on me, and I felt really uh, reclaimed. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I, it, I didn't realize that uh, the show was doing what it was doing, and it's been so fun to be a part of because we're just in a booth. Like yeah. there's like ten people there. You know what I mean? Well, it, it was interesting for me at the screening on Friday night see cuz i mean i i went to the season 2 finale screening also and i guess i just wasn't as aware of it the q and a was very much just kind of like with dave and ashley that time and but this time around you know they they had a lot of you guys up there doing the q and a and 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 the amount of kids that Aww. were there that yeah. you know, i i guess in, in my mind, I was like, I know the show is for kids, and mm -hmm. it's perfectly child-friendly, and I'm sure there are kids who watch it, but the majority of the people I know who watch it are adults who are Star Wars fans and want to <laughs> consume every piece of Star Wars canon. But it was it was really... It, it didn't change my perspective on the show at all, but it gave me a new appreciation for the show, seeing all of the families that, that yeah. enjoy this together. And to know that this was the first... Yeah. This is the, their first Star yeah. Wars. They had yeah. these two little boys dressed up as Luke Skywalker, yeah. and yeah. they were brothers, and you could just, like, this is their Star yeah. Wars. That's got to feel amazing, you it's guys. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, it and yeah it it's crazy. fun. Like, yeah, I'm, I know it's got to hit you. Like, seeing so many little kids dressed up as Ezra, you're like... <laughs> yeah. There's, like, a different sense of responsibility. I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, I wish we could go back and do something even better than how we had done yeah. it. It's but it's been so cool. Yeah, I tell him shoot higher, go for Zeb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say the same thing. Okay, but physically no, higher. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's kind of it's it, it's weird too because we do conventions all over the world sure. and we've seen these families dress up uh, in, in the different characters. But to hear somebody in the audience that, that stood up last night and we know that this is the gateway show for a lot of people for their first Star Wars experience. But to hear families talking about how they would sit together and 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 they bond as a family over the show, and that's something they'll remember for th these th the entire lifetime of, of these children, and for these parents and everybody else that they've exposed yeah. them to, and that's it, it. It goes far beyond even the reach that we've experienced. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's such an important sort of message within Star Wars Rebels as well as this idea that it is about family, but it's about this found family yeah. and. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they just really drive that point home when Ezra is, you know, being tempted by the Emperor and he's mm -hmm. showing him this vision of, you know, what could have been. It's like, oh, you can choose your parents and have everything that you deserve. You're a good person. You deserve to be raised by your mom and dad and have a nice life with them. And the fact that he rejects them mm -hmm. essentially in favor of this new family that he's built, it's, uh, it, I don't, it, I, I, 
got teared up trying to tell my roommate about the finale <laughs> of Star Wars Rebels, so uh, it's, it's, I'm doing great. You can see just the development for Ezra over yeah, there, because yeah. season one and season two, Ezra would have gone for Of course it. he would have. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it transcends the-, the show, too. I, I think on the cast, we all feel a sense of family just working together, because yeah. we did work together as a cast, and we have been together for so long. Uh, we've developed relationships. I... You know, he's my little brother now, yeah. whether he likes yeah. it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also right. feel that that moment was the moment you became a Jedi. Because yeah. Yeah. the Jedi yeah. Yeah. is all, no, when you chose, you you didn't choose to be selfish. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. what the, that's what Dave Filoni talks about. Is that, that's what the, you know, to use the Force for selfish reasons, you go to the dark side. Yeah. For selfless mm-hmm. reasons, you are a Jedi. And I think that's the moment. For, I agree. For me, I you think became that's how Jedi. you become whole as a Jedi. And then you person. tore down the temple. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With glitching Palpatine. It was so that's what out of the cool. rubble. That was just like, this is a horror oh movie. I love yeah. it. That's what I'm saying about like playing a Jedi. And I'm afraid you could say anything, but all of us just being having these scripts, like, it helps you with just becoming a person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you become the best person possible? Well, just read the path of a Jedi and try to follow that, <laughs> yeah. and there yes. you go. Yeah. And I've learned how to become a terrible human. <laughs> <laughs> well, you went out like a boss. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's yeah. talk True. about price for a moment, because, yeah, you, you mentioned that you came in uh, during season three, but Price has kind of always been, even at the the start of the show, like her name was sort of floating around. Right. We don't really know what to think of her. And when we first get introduced to her, the first thing she does on screen is demand that Thrawn be given to her, mm-hmm. essentially, to help deal with this problem on the Thaw. And at the very end, through all the ups and downs, we see her go through this but through the ringer, basically, we've seen her at her at her most powerful, at her most vulnerable, and then at the end of the day, yeah, she she chooses to go down with the ship. It's her only redeeming quality. Dave Filoni was always like, Mary, she has no redeeming qualities <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Thrawn has art, you have nothing. And I said, well, <laughs> lust for power is one thing. Yep. Uh, being complete, mostly ineffective at killing the people that she's trying to kill. But the fact that she goes out with that honor where she just say, I, I serve the Empire, and she stands on the bridge, and <sighs> I, I thought that was amazing. That was, that was an, the one redeeming thing for her, because she really has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, we, we were talking before the show started. In the Thrawn novel, they do a whole backstory for Price, and mm-hmm. it's really good. So if anybody's interested and, and wants to see more of the backstory of Price or even Thrawn, uh, you got to check out that Thrawn novel. I just finished the audiobook for it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I have it at the library. It's waiting for it's me to so pick it good. up. And there's a sequel coming out in uh, July. It's yes. called uh, Thrawn Alliances. And so now I'm confused on how that's going to. Is it. Nobody, later? no death. <laughs> Is it somewhere True. in between? Well, I mean, I, I think that's another thing that I actually really enjoyed about how the series wrapped up was that it wasn't all wrapped up in mm-hmm. a perfect little bow. Yeah. It was incredibly satisfying. And. And it was interesting, you know, because Dave Filoni was talking a little in the Q&A about this idea that everyone was coming at this show going, well, everybody's got to die. That's yeah. the only yeah. way that it can possibly <laughs> explain how it has not had a major impact on the original trilogy with these characters. And I, I thought they We were all guilty of that. Too. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Um, but I think that it still manages to wrap up in a way where, I, you know, I cried. There was a lot of emotional gravitas. But it, you didn't have to kill everybody to have that happen. Yeah. And, yeah. and the fact that Ezra is probably still alive somewhere out there. And Maybe. Zeb has Hopefully. found love. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Space Javert didn't die. Uh, we're so shocked. We yeah. were gobsmacked. I will say that Callus is the character that surprised me the most that he did not get killed off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's true. Me I, too. We had no idea. Yeah. 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 Well, that was, was what say, I was going to ask you because Dave always keeps everything sort of under lock and key. So. And you guys didn't hear about the monologue you were saying on Friday at no. the end. We were so not on the trust tree. We, we guys were not were allowed. Watching it as yeah. the crowd was like experiencing yeah. this moment. Well, Steve and yeah. I had seen it up uh, uh, the week be- weekend with before. With Dee Baker, yeah, we went yeah. up to the oh, ranch nice. and saw it so up there. So we nice. seen it up there and just wow. cried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing I will say, and that was what I was trying to say at the Q&A about being confused, because Dave was like, no, you know more than you think you know. And I was like, 
Dude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, that monologue that I say where I go off, yeah. I knew that I went off and that I w he was like, you're not dead, is what he told me long before. Yeah. And we, so I knew that, and I was like, okay, well, then how else does it end after that? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. So I didn't know that the cows, we didn't know there was going to be a kid, but I knew that I went out with Thrawn and the Purgle, because yeah. that whole yeah. monologue that he then delivers on the hologram. Um, but I was, I mean, we were all pretty confounded when they say bye. Yeah, we didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I, the well, most was... She had a kid. I was like, I know. what? Yeah, yeah, that's I know. crazy. Still processing now. Yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were talking outside, and now to go back and to, to know the weight of your lines, like mm -hmm. when you say to Ahsoka. Exactly. Come find, find me. Come find yes. me. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mary so brought that up. I didn't even realize at the time yeah. that that was And gonna that's when you realize what a genius yeah. day this. Oh. It's like <laughs> nothing was random. Everything was planned. Yeah. And yeah, speaking of Ahsoka, like um, one of the things that we were theorizing was how much of a role Ahsoka was going to play in the finale. And then we're surprised that she she really didn't come in until that very end. But at the same time, that was the perfect amount for her. Mm -hmm. oh, we yeah. really didn't oh. need her for that no, final no. fight. And I think we were better off without. Yeah. And, and Ashley had no idea. Well, and it yeah. expands no Ahsoka's yeah. story so, so much. Oh, yeah. I don't think she's, she, had, she hadn't She's probably it. seeing it. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four or five minutes. Nobody, I didn't nobody DM Ashley right now. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> that, it's that it's clock's a little fast, by the way. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's, oh, it's quarter, it's quarter to ten. Yeah. Give it 15 minutes. <laughs> she's <to die>. she's <laughs> about to bring back uh, hashtag Ahsoka Liz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, but this time like, with an exclamation yeah, yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I have a button that says Ahsoka Liz. Yeah. 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 White out or black out yeah. the hearts. For yeah. real. Exclamation. Yeah. Yeah, That's true. there's just so much um, in this show that got paid off, like uh, very much. Um, I love the way Dave Filoni was talking about how important nature mm. was yeah. in this series. And we really do get that paid off here in this finale with the Loth Wolves and with the Purgle. Um, it's it's like the one of the things that's so interesting about this conflict as as it comes to a head is that you know Thrawn is using all of the tools the the empire has at its disposal and in a lot of ways you can look at that as very much the force being out of balance because of the dark side and to see like sort of nature rise up against that to sort of bring order back to this planet mm -hmm. it's just such a cool thing it's also only one of the only ways they could have ever beat Thrawn is to pull something that he could never see coming because he's right. such yeah. a brilliant master tactician that yeah. they had to do something that he would have never even been able to think of in a million years. And so that was it. Space whales <laughs> space probably whales. were not. That's yeah. my favorite <laughs> thing about yeah. the Force. Is that, and I like did Bendu. not see that I, That was why I loved <laughs> Bendu so much. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Me too. Because he starts uh, making, having tangible characters that represent what the Force is, the wolves. Like I think right. that's the coolest thing about the yeah. Force because yeah. anyone can tap into that as well. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yep. It's bigger than a single person when you have like a Jedi or a Sith Lord, which to me is cool because that's like, some inclusion of everything in the world. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know, I've always thought yeah. that was so yeah. cool. Well, and oh, I think yeah. I think with, with these sort of natural representations of the Force too, you are looking at a situation wherein it, it kind of goes along the lines of what Dave Filoni was saying, where the Jedi, you're just kind of one with the Force. You just kind of mm -hmm. go with it. And, and the Sith try to bend the Force to their own will yep. and use it to their advantage. Yep. And so having the Force represented by actual physical nature mm -hmm. is is so much of it's so symbolic of that acceptance of okay well these are things that i can't change and i have to be this way and i'm just gonna go with it and mm -hmm. and that's gonna carry me through which is well, a statement about that nature is a selfish uh, sorry a selfless entity absolutely oh, yeah. which is kind of an amazing well, and thing. You yeah. saw how the loath wolves reacted when he would hesitate yeah or, or yeah. feel mm -hmm. the fear and and they, they yeah. changed they changed accordingly you're not ready, and they yeah. go away. Yeah. I, so let's all fall in love with nature. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go outside, kids. Be one with the force. Well, Get off the couch. Yeah. One, one of the coolest things about this as a finale is <clears throat> that it brings back a lot of a lot of the players that we've seen throughout sure. the series, oh. and everybody sort of had a chance to shine. Yeah. You know, we we get Hondo back, we get Ketsuanyo yeah. back, we get the How three great was Jim yeah. Cummings? Oh my oh god. god. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Uh, so, so I wanted to ask, did you guys have a particular highlight for, for all of these sort of side characters? Was Did you guys have a favorite moment of oh. like, oh, I loved it when Hondo had his moment there? Gregor. 
Oh, oh, I, know. I got really upset when Gregor got killed yeah. off. D. Baker. We yeah. all did. play all of those characters with the same voice and so distinctly different. Yeah. yeah. It was just genius. And yeah, that was moving. Yeah, that hit me really hard when yeah. Gregor went down. I was going to go a different way with it. I liked when he threw. Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Melt up in the mouth. Oh, yeah. They can fly. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like yeah. seeing. I feel like this okay. whole series we've had funny. Zeb yeah. trying to kind of hold himself back in because you know he comes from a warring like family and background and that's like all he's ever known and so to see him kind of get unleashed in an actual war here it's not just a fight he knows like this is it's the fight and when he goes into like i don't know what we're calling it like i guess battle mode pit thing. <laughs> rage oh, no. when, when zeb rage. starts yeah when he's like you know what yeah. 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 i'm yeah. doing yeah. it like i'm gonna be the one that jumps in and almost dies yeah. i was scared the whole time because i was like we can't kill zeb like i've grown <laughs> attached yeah i was scared too i didn't know yeah i didn't know how that was gonna end up same here i was we didn't, those we didn't were the things the we didn't know pages. i was like yeah. oh no i'm pretty I sure i turned to steven i went <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, that's how I go. That's a little anticlimactic after everything we've been through. So. He, he made yeah. it out. Rook, not so much. I yeah. was so sure it, that Zeb was going down there. I yeah, like, oh. I was too. But he got out and he got a fantastic one liner out there. Why did he ever? Too. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Rook's calm. Um, yeah, and the, and the whole thing with uh, Zeb and Callus ending up at Lyrason. Oh. Is something I've been joking about for three years. Oh at God. conventions. <laughs> yeah. At, at every time, every mm -hmm. panel, somebody says, at, at, almost invariably, at every yeah. panel, he said, What would you like to see happen for Zeb later on in the series as it develops? And I said, Well, I'd like for him and Hot Callus to end up on their son and start a family. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting in the screening watching this for the first time about the Skywalker. I was dying. crying. It was amazing. Santa granted me my wish. <laughs> God. And Dave, Dave, of course, goes, no, Steve, it's not about that. It's about forgiveness. And he's going back to the planet no, and they accept him. No, as well. I said, I okay. ship that so not hard. in our yeah. fan fiction head yeah. 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 it's yeah. not. Yeah, not for me either. We have forgiven I'm already her. imagining their children. We don't know. Zeb yeah. might be pregnant by now. Who knows? Yeah. And there goes the internet. Right? What? <laughs> what? A fan fix will come out soon. We have oh forgiven your attempted genocide because it was only an attempted <laughs> genocide. <laughs> if you'd succeeded, there would have been a different story. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot in this show about the power of forgiveness and oh, redemption. Yeah. Yeah, and is. even characters like Ketsuanyo, who, you know, for a long time were just out for themselves. You know, at the yeah. at the end here, uh, when she gets asked, hey, do you have any ideas about, like, how we can get through this? And she's like, yeah, but don't worry, I'm going to stay here. Like, she's yeah. already, ha like, been able to figure out several exit strategies from this terrible situation she's found herself in. But she's like, you know what? This is a cause worth fighting for. I owe you guys a solid. Hondo evolves too, and he was like, "I would die for that boy." I was like, "Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? Thank you. This is amazing." <laughs> well, and just last week I was talking about, yeah, I didn't think Hondo would come back because whenever Hondo's in an episode, it's a Hondo it's episode. Yeah. That was not the case here, and I was impressed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Old age has changed him. Yeah. His love for Melch is changed. Yes. That was a really cute scene when it yeah. turned out that Melch wasn't dead. Oh yeah. I also was really sad when I thought Melch was dead. Yeah. It's yeah. like, just yeah. like Hondo's little, like, Ugnot, like, mm -hmm. buddy who runs around with him, and I suddenly feel very emotionally attached. Well, and yeah. then we have the Disney death juxtaposed with the actual yeah. death. Yeah. Yeah. I was sad, too, that, um, that like, Rex wasn't, because Rex was with. Vizago and June Sato's. Oh, uh, Wolf. Uh, Wolf was with. Wolf was with Vizago them. Okay. And um, Mart. 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 Yes. Mart. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> um, and, but but yeah. So and then yeah, the Gregor death was really sad. Yeah. Yeah. It was. But such um, an honorable way to go. I know. Yeah. Yeah. People got honorable deaths. Yeah. Except for Rook. Yeah. <laughs> and and Rook, Rex. Though lives to fight in the Battle of Endor, and that's yes. awesome. Yes, that was yeah. amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I like that that was the one moment the whole theater erupted, and they were like, and he fought at Endor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, I, I think one of my favorite bits, uh, just watching these episodes with a live audience, was, uh, hey, you've got your wolf pack back, and just to hear, oh, yeah. hear that resonate throughout the audience. They're going to fight. Yeah. 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 That's so great. <laughs> and brutal, okay. too, is... is Oh, oh yeah, that wolf yeah. scene was and just like, oh, yeah. it's the happening. I thought there was a it velociraptor was moment with the, when the two yes, wolves had the door and I said, oh, don't make a wish. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just the reveal of them with their eyes. 
Yeah. Well, I noticed great. that the great. only way that the wolves killed anyone on screen was throwing them off the edge. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow, this could have been so much more yeah, violent. They don't yeah. have a bloodlust. They're here on a mission. They're going to okay? eat them later. Well, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You, can't, you can't really see the internal ble- bleeding through Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there could have been a lot more going on. I, there. They have a crunchy outer and a gooey inner. Exactly. We're just saving oh, it for later. Katie, no. There were a couple <laughs> moments where I was gritting my teeth where I'm like, are they allowed to show what they're showing? Yeah. 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 And I thought it sounded like bones crunching, but it's actually the stormtrooper armor. It's like, just okay, the plastic, so tooth yeah. on fang on stormtrooper armor would make that sound as yeah. opposed yeah. to their bones. I was, Same feel on the face. I was streaming at work Crunchy and someone outside. walked by and they were like, is that Star Wars? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, is that on Disney? And I'm like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that rated Y7? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Are those people dying? Yeah, they probably. Yeah. It's just not the fall that gets you. Yeah. It's, it's not the fall that gets you. It's the stop at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speak, like, I... This this as a finale and how um, emotionally cathartic I think it was, mm-hmm. it still had a lot of emotional weight to it. Like a lot of stormtroopers died oh, in that yeah. in that dome plan. They literally eradicated every <laughs> every member of the Empire on the planet except we, that one warehouse yeah, where yeah. all of Lothal came up and said, "You're out," you know, yeah, and they yeah. sort of come and but I, and I was sort of like, "How come those guys didn't?" Take the order and go back. Yeah. You're awful stormtroopers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you go down with the ship with the rest of us? Die with nice. honor. Yeah. One, one third of all my characters that I've ever played died Just all at died. once. <laughs> 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 honor. Honor. One silent scream. Yeah. Every the third stormtrooper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and was... we were definitely watching it going, okay, so is this is this the Steve Bloom stormtrooper or is this someone who's like gonna have a name and gonna be, oh, that's a Bloom stormtrooper. Uh-huh. He did. It was as if many Steve Blooms cried out in pain <laughs> and, was yeah. Yeah. Silent. and then fell silent. Yeah. <laughs> 20,000 bloopers. <laughs> um, I just made that up. <laughs> what were their names, Steve? What were their names? They're all no, they don't. So, uh, I, I, we are, we are getting close to sort of the okay. end here. Um, go ahead. Oh, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're just crying. That's Everyone's all. Just... Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any sort of final thoughts before, like, um, I, I know it's hard to sum up all all three of these episodes sort of in one go, but is there anything in particular you want to tell the fans? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, the fans are freaking out at the fact that uh, uh, Dave was Chopper. I forgot to mention <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yes. Yes. yes! The biggest revelation of the show. Was, you know, yeah. he actually told a young girl. He, yeah. We were there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And she never said she anything. She kept the secret. She kept the secret. That's That's she's been in a cell all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love his that part out during the In the bowels of Lucasfilm, yeah. Yes. The, oh, the second she his... walked off the stage, Somebody had her sign. <laughs> and there there are worse places agreement. to be held prisoner. To be fair, yeah. I loved his comment about it was like I ruined Santa for her. Like Aww. the magic was gone. Uh, she no. was wise no. beyond her years. She, I think she knew. Yeah, she probably yeah. told her whole school. <laughs> <laughs> no one believed it. Though. They, they don't have any Wi-Fi there, the so it's fine. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> but can we salute Dave's performance? Oh, as yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that's that's one of the most lovable. Characters. And killer. I agree. And the killer. most yeah. vicious killer. <laughs> the angry yeah. murder cat. Actually, yeah. I think yeah. he also played uh, the gunner that Price says he did. fire. <laughs> And oh, so he, he said, he said, Mary, you and I yeah. are the ones that killed, that, that killed Kanan. But wow. we were the ones that killed Kanan. He played, <laughs> oh. he played the gunner that, but Dave that, fired that pulled the, the trigger. Yeah. 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 I gave the order, the he yeah. pulled the trigger. Right. Yeah. Wow. They'll hate you, Mary. That's, that was, uh, I was going to say, that was Rebel generous scum. of him to, you know, to take the fall yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like that. He's very selfish. He believes in the power of the force. He's a Jedi. He's a Jedi, yeah. Yeah. I, I fully believe that, though. By his own uh, description, know, I, he is a likable jerk. I feel like he's a Bendu oh, yeah. as well. He, I feel like yeah. he's, he, he can be a he's total. He's something more. He's a purple. Yeah, he's, so he's, 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 he's a purple. <laughs> he's a total <laughs> maker. <laughs> I love to just see the episode scripts now, because I know that the Chopper dialogue is actually written out. It is. And yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. Oh, I have yeah. questions. I want it in my life. It's pretty awesome. It's funny. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but I want it. All of us took a it shot makes at it. Sense. Too, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. On the Blu-ray extras, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they should just have Dave like superimpose in the bottom, like, "Are you out of your mind?" You know, every yeah. time Chopper <laughs> says something, it's just put in Dave actually saying the lines. That's hilarious. If only he had the time. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. He needs to stand in for that. That's yeah. true. 
working a cowboy so, hat on top of Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, t- we actually did a picture I think there's like a picture. Yeah, there's a picture. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. We we, I think Ooh. we have a picture. We have a picture. We did it at the ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That's oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's I, cool. I need this. Yeah. That's, yeah. Pretty that's great. <laughs> so we are running a little short on time, I hate right. to say. So um, final thoughts. So yeah, final final thoughts on last. just the the finale and the series as a whole. Yeah. Never give up hope if the force teaches you anything. It's it's look to be selfless and and never give up hope and if you don't have a family uh, a given family that that supports you, go out and choose your own because sometimes those relationships and those bonds can be just as strong if not more uh, than you have with your birth family for some reason that doesn't happen. So never give up hope. There's always family to be found. Dream the impossible. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like you said, hope and and also uh, know that even under the most adverse adverse conditions, that uh, redemption and uh, acceptance and forgiveness is always possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We got asked this question on the night at the premiere, and I think they were the best answers we've all given because it is kind of summing up what our experience has been with Star Wars. But hope, you kind of have to always mention the same sentence as Star Wars because that's the big thing you take away from it. It's the thing that, that gives you chills that th- hope is one of the greatest feelings in the world that we all kind of hold on to every day, going to sleep at night. And there's hope for something great the next day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, selflessness, that's a huge thing to take from this show yeah. the family aspect but I also just want to say thanks to yeah. the fans mm-hmm. to and everyone to involved Dave. everyone that watched everyone that talks about it everyone that like has welcomed us in I, I don't know if I've given those thanks enough and I'm I mean that's what's made this experience so surreal and being a part of a family that is that enormous and large and goes overseas and, and that is all part of the same family that we've I think been accepted into and I think that's been the coolest thing. And that starts from the very top, too, from Kathleen Kennedy and yeah. Dave and everybody at Lucasfilm and Disney. They're, they have included us in the process in a, mm-hmm. in a way that you don't see in cartoons. Yeah. We get to go to the studio. We get to meet the people behind the scenes, the writers and the, the, uh, the musicians and, and uh, the artists and yeah. the artistry behind us. We see every element of that, and we know them by name. We know these people by name. And they included us as, as family. And so... Yeah. We have our own little family as the cast that's a little extension of that, and the fans are an, another extension beyond that. We're all connected by this show in a way that will live on for generations yeah. to come. It's, <laughs> it's unlike Binds anything. Us together. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, but, but it really does, and, that, yeah. and those words ring truer now for me than, mm-hmm. oh, than for ever. Oh, sure. It's yeah. a community. You go, people come together Global. just to talk about it. Oh, I, I, yo, going off over to like London, you see it, and then people... Yeah who don't know each other at all just come together over the thing that they like Star Wars and they talk about this and then it's it's amazing. You have a whole budding new relationship there and it's yeah. crazy and it's so cool. And it crosses languages too. You can go anywhere in the world. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of amazing. I think one of the most moving things um, for me was at the Q&A, half the people didn't even have questions who, who stood up to speak. They just said thank you. Yeah. yeah. And it was sort of similar when um, we we actually called out for questions as well, and most of the responses were, we're not ready to say goodbye yet. Yeah. 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 So, I, yeah, I guess the biggest thing is just thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're just thank sitting you. in the gratitude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> for, for sure. Um, Dylan, mm. uh, you were the one that started this panel. You're <laughs> sort of the reason why we're all here. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. too. Do you have anything you want to say? Uh, yes. Um, I I knew this was going to be good from the, the first time I heard about it. and Because I knew Dave was behind it. And I loved the Clone War so much. And I loved all the characters he came up with. Uh, so I, I just knew. I just knew it was going to be good. I know in the beginning people were worried about it. They thought, oh, this is too kiddy. Oh, this animation is different. But I knew it. I was like, just give it time. It's Star Wars. It's going to come together. And it did. And it was fantastic. And I love it. It's a great addition to the whole Star Wars universe. Um, I'm so happy that I found people to talk about it with me because I just nerd out all the time and I don't have a lot of people to talk to. (laughs) Uh, So, you know, I got some people together and then, you know, Emma took over for me when I had to leave and I'm so happy, like, I got to pass the torch on to just, and they ran with it and they carried it and then even when she left, they all took over. It's it's been great. The show's been great. So thanks to everyone. Um, 
seeing it through. Seeing when I started through. Thank you so much. I'm glad I could be here for the last episode. Um, and thanks to all the fans that stick around. I see some fans that were here from episode <laughs> one, and that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's wow. right. I mean, amazing. so that's so cool. Um, yeah, yeah it, it's it's great. And now I can't wait for the Thrawn Ezra buddy adventure. It's gonna be fun. Let Ezra go. Yep. Fe featuring uh, Sabine and Ahsoka. Also. Yeah, well, they're coming to rescue them while Thrawn and Ezra explore the unknown regions of space. Exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be, be a buddy road trip yeah. show yeah, that's yeah. A, you know, kind of a shift in tone to a more comedic yeah. sort of thing <laughs> instead yeah. of action adventure. It's going to be great. Then they're going to play good cop, bad cop. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that Cooking. sitcom, I need it. Yeah. The odd oh couple. Cooking. Yeah. And I just, it, it was an incredibly satisfying ending, and I feel like Star Wars Rebels contributed so many really significant and interesting things to the Star Wars canon, but ultimately, it, the strength of the show lies in the strength of the characters. It, it was a show about family, and that's something that you can relate to whether you're super into Star Wars or just kind of casually into Star Wars. It's, it's just a well-made series. Yeah. Quickly, I definitely <laughs> started as someone who's casually into Star Wars. Like, it shapes people's lives growing up. And I've had experiences with that, but I've never been, like, ride or die Star Wars. And then I was asked to join this panel because we were down a person and we needed someone in the middle of season one, wasn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, this sounds like fun. And I started watching it with Megan and I was like, oh my god, this, this feels <laughs> like Star Wars. This is... Oh, I am in. Oh my God! What is this robot? Did he just kill a man? This is right beside me. The first of many. This is the this is the first time I have been ride or die for a Star Wars franchise, and I've just I'm in. This has been wonderful. I did not know that about that's you. Awesome. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. 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 You seem like you're pretty into it. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah. Thanks it's to Rebels. Yeah. It's well a done. thing I've been into, but I've never been in it to win it until Rebels. Uh, Oh, yeah. sweet. So I feel like Taylor told us first time he was here that before this he'd like seen Phantom Menace on TV once. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not not true. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, you were going to uh, Yeah, <laughs> I came in as a, a Clone Wars stan. Uh, so many of the trilogies and arcs changed my life and it was really like as a kid who was excited for episode one and then crushed <laughs> my whole soul. Sorry. Like... <laughs> Clone Wars made those movies palatable because you were like, but all of these dope things happen in between those things. And now like I can watch the scenes. So it was really cool to go to Rogue One and be like pumped to hear about this crew like in that movie. It was a complete reversal of what got me into the series in the first place. And I think that's what Star Wars is capable of now that it's like a multi-platform, completely accessible, like franchise. Like there's just so much Star Wars to consume and Rebels has been such an enjoyable part of it. It got back to like, the kid in you that loved Star Wars yeah. and for Dave to turn it on his head like that at the end and say you know what I'm not going to kill all these people I remember why we liked the originals and it's because at the end we had this glowy happy ending with dancing teddy bears I'm going to give <laughs> yes. you a similar feeling but with a kid like it was amazing <laughs> and I really enjoyed it so thank you guys you you made the show fun and, and amazing to listen to and, and we got to grow with you for five years <laughs> and I, I just appreciate getting to be a part of this whole ride so thanks thank you guys I just want to thank everybody in this room. Um, and we need your story. And even even Kristen, who's not here. Right. Like the, the whole reason I did this panel was because Dylan and Kristen believed in this show. And I am so happy I went on this journey with them because I always loved Star Wars. But as far as the expanded universe stuff, I was never super familiar with it. So I was like, guys, am I gonna get like nerd checked if like for if I if I decide to hop on this panel? <laughs> and Dylan was like. No, we're just here to have fun yeah. and talk about how awesome Star Wars is. And I I grew to love it even more, and I'm so happy that I got to spend, you know, four seasons sitting and talking about this show and getting to talk to you guys about it. It's It's been an absolute yeah. treat. So I want to say thank you, Dylan, for, for insisting that I be a part of your panel. Thank you, Kristen, who could not be here tonight, for also insisting that I be a part of this panel. Um, and thank you guys. So so yeah. much. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Special thanks to uh, Tracy and Chrissy as well, yes. Yes. who did a lot of work Legend. in oh. event planning and coordinating. Crazy. They are miracle workers. They're behind yeah. the scenes and they are the heartbeat. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if they ever sleep or how. They, I don't know <laughs> if they do. 
If they I, do, they it must be like a microsecond. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. like, They're boom, amazing. I'm back. And the nicest we well, go to. Yep. Sadly, we are out of time. Yes. Uh, where can fans go if they want to find you guys and keep up with all of your upcoming projects? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Mary E. McGlynn. Uh, and I, th I think I have an Instagram page that I'm very lax about, <laughs> 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 which I'll try and get better. But actually, we're going to be in Kansas next week. Oh, yeah, at NACACON. At NACACON. Awesome. So if you're awesome. in town, come say hi, and we can talk all things Star Wars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All things. Yes, and I'm on Twitter at Bloomspew. It's my last name, B-L-U-M-S-P-E-W. Uh, and then also, I just started a voiceover teaching oh, yeah, website I've been that. at <laughs> loomvoxstudios.com. So it's my last name, the word Vox, yeah. V O X, studios.com. And uh, we just started our first webinar class uh, last week, and we have a second one coming tomorrow night. That's awesome. I'm going to just jump on and say, check it out. Yeah. I haven't seen any of it, but I've seen this guy work for five years. <laughs> Go yeah. run. If you want to do anything voiceover, run. To that class, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I try to communicate. That. Secret to yeah, that. it's yeah. it's uh, it's got to be great. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where can they find you? Oh uh, well, right here. Never <laughs> <laughs> um, He lives in the studio yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. um, I have a Twitter. It's I'm Taylor Gray, and I have a, uh, an Instagram that is Taylor Gray three. And um, yeah, and and we're around. We're out yeah. and about. Do you guys know when you're gonna play Edge of the Empire again? With Sam? Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, we're doing that soon. on... Yeah, we were supposed to do it next weekend, but we can't, so it looks like it's the now. 21st. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. awesome. That's, That's so fun, and we're going to keep doing that, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. D &D, baby. Yeah, so you're yeah. still you're still getting Star Wars content from these guys, just yeah. in the form yeah. of a Star Wars role playing and, game. Yeah. And Love yeah, it. guys, as as we all know, uh, the end of one story is the start of something new. Exactly. exactly. Every exactly. new beginning so, comes from some other beginning's end. Okay. Exactly. Oh. Some wise person once said that. <laughs> I think it was a one hit wonder in the nineties. <laughs> um, a really quick. We do also want to give a quick shout out, um, iTunes wise, to a couple of people who commented because we we love giving out iTunes. Shout outs to everybody who's gone to rate and subscribe. You guys are the reasons why, like, the lights stayed on here and we got to hang out at this cool table. Um, so go ahead. I've got them. We have, I'm going to miss this podcast Aww. from Horses 219. I listened to the Ruby Rooster Teeth Voltron after shows and was really excited to see the Rebel show. Started listening a couple months ago, caught up for the final season. Love listening, so excited for Star Wars, and I learned awesome trivia. I'll miss this cast so much after season four is over. And we have thank you, ladies of the After Buzz Rebellion, <laughs> for Prodigal Three Five Eight, and Dylan. Thank you, well, Dylan. and Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> thank you all for doing this podcast. You made me tear up with laughter, ponder deep questions, gasp at the superb writing, and weep for those who have become one with the Force. Aww, I have changed in many ways. I look forward to listening to your future work. Thank you again. May the Force be with you. Aww. 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 May the Force be with you. What a nice yeah. way to end. All yeah. right. And on that note, we are way over time and for you guys. Yes. I'm so sorry. We got a group right. hug to the chat. Yeah. Group yeah. hug. Yeah. They've been asking. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> Katie, where can people go if they want to find you? You can follow me all over the social medias as well as on YouTube and Twitch at Kiaget. That is K-I-A-X-E-T. If you want more shows that I'm on here, I am on the Rooster Teeth Review Show on Wednesdays and the Voltron After Show on Mondays. Animation all the time. Hey guys, I'm Dylan Chance. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Dylan Chance. I'll talk to you about anything Star Wars. Uh, I'm currently working my way through all of the canon audiobooks, the new canon. Um, and they're so much fun. So if anyone wants to chat, you can. I'm also the technical director for Machinima Studios, so you can catch me on our Twitch live stream chats. You know, just TD and everything while our shows go live. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm at Emma Fife. I can be found all over the internet at my name, Emma Fife. Uh, if you guys like Star Wars, I assume you do, you should totally watch Pencils and Parsecs. It's the Star Wars sure. RPG show that I do over at Hyper RPG. That's twitch.tv slash Hyper RPG Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific. We are premiering season three this uh, Wednesday night. Woo! Should be real fun. Hey, guys. I'm Joel Monique. You can find me all over the internet at Joel Monique. Every week at blackgirlnerds.com. Here doing Atlanta on Thursdays, Black Lightning on Wednesdays, and The Magicians on Wednesday. We have a musical episode coming up, and you know we're done. about to geek out. Uh, also, Monday, March 12th, I'll be on Heroes over at Collider, so check it out. And I'm Megan Salinas. Oh, yay! <laughs> Happy birthday! Thanks! And I'm
Megan Salinas. You guys can tweet at me at the Mingwin. That's T-H-E-M-E-N-G-U-I. And I'm on a, I do a bunch of stuff. Just follow me there. Uh, again, thank you so much yeah, to our thank you, thank, you so so much. thank you so much to everybody in the hashtag, everybody in the live chat, everybody who commented on iTunes all across these seasons. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody at LucasArts and Disney for making this show possible. Thanks. May the so force so be with you. <laughs> May, May the, the force, force be with you be all. With you. We will see you all in the future, I guess. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The force be with you always. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.